What is crack like my gamers? Welcome to another video. This is gonna be a short one today. Um, we're just gonna make a little UI for the player's health. And um, shout out to these people for um, supporting my content and being great viewers. Anyway, let's get right into it. So first, let's just make a little a, a thing, the UI. You can make this whatever you want. I'm going to make it um, similar to what they use in Cuphead as um yep yeah. so it's a little yellow box center that just make it accurate size yeah that's a good size center it then over here we can just put the h make sure you change the color and the font you want and then we're gonna put hp Four. Four. Sorry. So over here we have this here. You can maximize it, do whatever you want to make it look good. Center it and boom. Uh actually no wait, not HP four, HP three. Unless uh you can change your care HP to whatever you want. So we're gonna duplicate this, we're gonna HP one, no I mean two and HP one. So over here we're gonna when clicked we're going to show and uh, we're going to add forever block let me zoom in here forever block and um, switch to costume one first of all and then we're going to make it so this always goes to the front layer and goes to this position which is already set once or after that we have to make it if else block if the player health is equal to three, then we're going to switch costume to costume three. Then we're going to duplicate that. It goes to two. Costume two. And one. Uh, oh yeah, and make this one an if block. Let me just zoom out a bit. Costume one. So now, as you play, we can see. Wait, something's wrong. Mm, yeah. But, oh, oops. It to make it one, two, three. Now, our health should be accurate. Let's see closer up. One, two, three. And then we can get hit easily. Just one, two, three. Yep. And a couple more issues we had to fix is that I think the character is a little bit too fast. So we're going to make it so that X by five and negative five. So, yep, that's a lot nicer. I think it's going a bit too fast. And then the basketball delay by four, and it, and this isn't centered. Centered should not be centered. It should be centered. Now that we have that centered, and yeah, and you know while we're at it, let's add menus. So first, let's make um, let's make a new title screen on um, let's make this title screen it just do some simple coloring oops make it green gonna make it a little dark green yep gonna make this accurate size put that there And then we're gonna make. Let's call the game Penguino. No, pen. Penguino. No, Penguin. Penguin versus Frank. 
Sure. You can call your game whatever you want. So we have over here, Penguin versus Frank. I'm going to give it a nice little white outline. Actually, let's make this correction. Let's make this white. And let's give it a black outline. Which I think will go a lot better, a lot nicer. And I think let's make this a nice little darker shade of green. So now, and we have this. So we're going to make it, when clicked, um, go to zero, zero. Zero, zero. And show. And then we're always going to make, uh, and we're also going to make it forever. Go back. Uh, go back. Um, just go backward one layer, and go forward. Okay. So there, we have a title screen, but that's not gonna work. So next, we have to add a play button and a restart button. So first, let's make this a little smaller, and let's definitely make this all the way. Then we're gonna go over here. Make it back. And we're gonna put play. Size that up. And center. You're gonna make a new costume. Restart. And you can make this button long. We're gonna make this button wait, longer. Grab the whole thing. And center. So we have the play and restart button. We're gonna make this go to zero zero when we start. And when you're gonna start, we are going to change it to costume one. So it's the play. Now that we have that, we here's what we are going to do. We're going to make it that when forever if to um if mouse down no then if touching mouse so we're gonna make it if touching mouse pointer then we're gonna ask if the mouse is down we're gonna wait until not mouse down so it can't be held down then we're going to broadcast Start game and hide and and there. So and when we start the game, we want to show that. Um, now that we have that, what we are going to do is we're going to um when when start show when receive. Start game. Hide. Now that we have that, um, we're going to grab this over here. We're going to go to front layer, and yeah, so this appears. We can click it, and it'll start game. What else we're going to do is that under all the objects, instead of putting in one flat clicked, we're going to put one flat clicked hide, and then when receive start game. Now that we have that, we're going to copy this over onto everything. And make this start game just to make it a lot easier. Copy over, copy over, copy over onto everything. Ex and, uh, except for the things in the start and the game over screen. So we have one click hide, one receive, start game, one click hide, one receive, start game, and we're gonna do this for all of the things. So now that we have that. 
click play and you begin wait oh yeah and last but definitely not least make sure you put a show block under all of these or else they just won't appear except for except for the objects that aren't supposed to appear this one already has a show this one isn't supposed to appear this one already has a show so yeah and now the game goes normal but what happens if you die well when you die um when you die first of all this is um the front layer here is everything going to backward one layer backward four okay let's test out the game over screen oh yeah something's happening to the play button okay i'm gonna take a moment to figure this out then i'll be right back sorry for that i got a bizarre glitch but here's the change but i fixed it and here's the changes i made first i made this into a is touching mouse pointer and mouse down and i made a new variable called is button hidden when it starts it's no and then um to actually touch it it has to be no and then it sets it to yes another thing is whenever it sees um when it shall receive game over it's gonna show once again and is hidden is going to be equal is button hidden is gonna be equal to no so that way now there's no bizarre glitch and once i die wait here's what i'm going to do um and let me fix the game over button um instead of stopping all it's not going to stop all but it's going to hide and then we're just going to duplicate this and make this when i receive game over then we're going to drag this here 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 and yeah that's it so now we can shoot frank we should be able to die and um go to front layer and go backwards three now we can die and of course there's oh yeah and when i receive start game we want to hide duplicate this and hide and make sure you hide your ver uh your player var uh player health var variable now with the new health so let's finally test this out we can now play he can our character can die there's a new game over and we can play again so i'm just gonna edit the penguin gonna move him lower or let me zoom out grab here lower him that's strange let's just or you can just do this lower him play and now you now have some new UI for your game and a restart button. Okay, um, thanks for watching. Goodbye.